1863, Lincoln wrote a famous document known as the Emancipation Proclamation. This document affected on the first day, day of January, January. All, persons all persons out of slaves, slaves shall, be. Shall, be. shall be. What was that? Shh. Did, did you hear something? Of course I heard something. There's a maybe plane dog. No, not that. Never mind. Well, with that, guys, if you want to follow me, I'll take you to a particular part of Harper's Ferry that holds a special significance today. So come on, let's go. Fence forward and forever free. Hello? What's going on here? Hello there. So you got my message? Who said that? Oh, I'm sorry I startled you. Would you please tell me the date? Uh, January 1st, 2013. Do you know why it's dating so close? No. Well, let me show you. Do you remember this fellow? Of course, it's Robert E. Lee. When the Emancipation Proclamation was enacted, it applied only to the states in rebellion. Naturally, it was very unpopular with the people in the South. Mr. Lincoln, I regret that I am not in the proper attire for such a meeting. It's quite all right, Mr. Lee. I was just telling Sam here about the Emancipation Proclamation. Would you care to comment? Indeed. With all due respect, Mr. Lincoln, your savage and brutal policy is an outright blow to the rights of the state and our property. We will make every effort to fill the ranks of our armies until we are blessed with the establishment of our independence. Well, I think we've heard enough from him. Come along, Sam. Some people in the North disagree with the whole premise of the emancipation. Why, you dirty dog! You yellow belly sap sucker! Gentlemen, would you please state your case? Good to see you, Mr. President. This crooked minded vagabond before me here does not see the political advantages of our decree. Mr. President, this barking two legged dog does not understand that this document will only serve to the South's will to fight us, thus prolonging this bloody conflict. Sounds like Harper's Ferry was especially effective. You see, Sam, in occupied places such as Harper's Ferry, many of the faces on the street were former slaves who sought safety with the army. However, their counterparts just across the river in Maryland were still enslaved. A decision I regret to have been forced to make, yet it was necessary in order to keep the peace and keep border states like Maryland, Delaware, and Missouri from leaving the Union. Now I want to show you the most important fact of the Emancipation Proclamation. Good people, why are you still working? You are all free now. Thank you so much, Mr. Lincoln. I've always dreamed of owning my own property, my children getting a proper education. One day that will come. And now you know our story. As you can see, this measure had far-reaching effects, but for me, the battle was far from over. It would still be another two years before slavery was officially outlawed by the Constitution. And this horrible war was ended. Wow, Mr. Lincoln, I had no idea this was such an important and interesting day in history. Here you are, buddy. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, it's okay. I was just talking to Lincoln. Who are you talking about? Thank you.